The summer camps were super awesome. This would be my fourth year doing doing the Liberty Hockey summer camps now. So it's definitely a highlight of the summer. It's always fun to help come back, help out the kids, to impact these kids' lives. It's been super fun. I'm very grateful that I'm able to be here at Liberty and be able to impact these kids' lives. Each year it's our mission to bring these kids on campus and show them what it's like to be godly men on and off the ice. We're very fortunate enough to have a great group of counselors and on-ice staff to help fulfill our mission. On the ice, it's phenomenal. You have Quinn Ryan, who obviously knows his stuff. Uh, I really respect him a lot. He's doing a lot for a lot of youth players. So you got uh, on-ice coaching from Quinn. Ben Hughes is also a great hockey mind. And then you got Coach Jeff kind of helping on that. But I think most of the growth comes off the ice in our chapel sessions, in the testimony sessions. Uh, in fact, in our U18 group, we had a player share his testimony, and we thought that was pretty powerful. And this year we were able to see 42 lives changed um, as kids accepted Christ, um, basically all the way from little guys all the way to U18, and that was something that was really special for us. Um, off the ice, I think, um, spiritually, I think we do a good job with it, having small groups and then doing worship and testimonies at the end, I think for me is the most important things for these kids. It's all about bringing guys in wherever they're at, at their walk with Christ, and whether they're there, whether they have a relationship with Christ, whether they don't, it's fine either way, but we want to push them to be better each day, regardless of where they're at. So I think hockey in the South is something that um, is starting to grow. I think Liberty does a great job. Uh, we do a great job of providing kids an opportunity to truly come out to a place that's maybe not your typical um, geographical location up north, um, to be able to come out here, um, develop their skills, um, develop um, who they are as people, uh, often on the ice, and, and so that, that's really important to us. Each year, uh, kids go back to their youth teams and bring back their friends. So we had to split the camp up into four camps this year, which is a huge blessing. But to us, that's super encouraging that they're bringing their teammates out. You kind of see guys uh, come from all over the country and all make friends amongst each other. It's not the same clicky environment that you might get in a locker room. It's definitely a really cool networking experience for the kids to grow some uh, good, solid Christian relationships. A lot of what we do is skill-based on the ice, and so a lot of off-ice um, stuff that we're able to get them involved in, whether it's just shooting or mechanics and, and technique, and um, being able to do those things with our campers of all ages and kind of adapt to each age group is uh, something that we look forward to doing every year and something that we at Liberty are um, very proud to be able to do. When you go to Liberty Hockey uh, summer camp, it's not just a rink that will amaze you, but it's the whole campus. We walk everywhere. And you know, just the facilities are beautiful. It's amazing the resources that God has given this university to pour into a lot of youth. Each year we want to expand what we're doing and make it better. Um, that's our goal. Whether it's uh, creating more time uh, with the Lord um, through having somebody come in and specifically chat with our campers, um, getting external people out here to help with our camps as well as as we plan uh, for the next uh, year of camps, so 2024, 2025 season of camps. Um, we will start that process pretty quickly within the next couple of weeks. Uh, camp camp uh, development and uh, coming up with everything happens pretty quickly after these ones conclude while it's all fresh in our minds. And so uh, we want to make sure that we give our campers the best experience going forward, uh, even better than what they had the previous year. So I'm excited for hopefully next year. Hopefully I'm around next year, but uh, just being able to provide um, a spot where, where we can share the gospel freely and be all around um, Christians that happen to be hockey players, not hockey players that just happen to be Christians, and just keep honing in on, on what the gospel is leading us to do and what Jesus Christ wants us to do.